What's up everybody, it's Critical. I'm playing me in post-apocalypse 2, scraping for the PC. Let's do this shit. With a name like this, I don't see how this game can be anything short of a masterpiece, so I'm very excited to really dive into this adventure. The first mission, you turned out to be an underground cave. To be chosen, you will take scraping him from zombies and droids. Good luck, hero. My oh my, talk about an immediate plot twist. We turned out to be a cave. What are the odds? That doesn't happen often. So I just need to collect scraping him. That should be pretty easy. To choose the weapon- Oh fuck, I'm under attack. Yeah, get out of here, bitch. The ammo and weapon can wallow on floor on level. To select the weapon- Alright, I'll go fuck myself. I didn't want to read that anyway. I think I got the gist of it. The weapon and ammo can wallow on floor on level, so this should really be something special. I have a hunch that the developers don't actually know what the word wallow means. Usually when that word's tossed around, it's referring to animals that are rolling around on the ground. Are you trying to sneak up on me? Get out of here, oh yeah. That was exciting. That was some advanced tactics right there from the droid. Oh, you too? Oh, I'm gonna take that scraping him right from you. Yeah, give me that scraping him. More? My oh my, it's just a droid breeding ground over here. Oh shit, another one. Oh fuck, two of them. It's a hail of gunfire. Call me Bonnie and Scrape. Where'd the other one go? Show yourself, droid. What is that? Alright, it doesn't seem to- Oh, there you are, bitch. Yeah, oh my goodness, this is intense. I tell you, this will get the adrenaline flowing. Oh fuck, do you believe in magic? It's coming right after me by floating. Eat lead, yeah, take that. Do you really think your friend can do something that you couldn't? How about you open your eyes and smell my asshole? Why am I out of bullets for everything? There we go, here's some. Oh, it took a bite out of me. It scraped me with its teeth. I just need to kill 43 enemies now. Oh shit, excuse me, am I Neanderthal? I can't even read. 43 enemy, it's not plural. Where is 43 enemy? Where is he? Are you the one they call 43 enemy? I must slay you. Ooh, bam, get the fuck out of here. You want some of this too? Bam. Oh, of course, yeah. Why would that be an instant kill? No, no, it bit me. This is a really sad creature to tell you the truth. I want to take it home and make it hold my dick. There we go, I put it out of its misery. Looks like he's posing for a picture or trying to cower away from the sunlight. Oh, holy shit, this is just too intense, I might just shit my pants. Me in post-defecation, number two, shitting. Oh, get out of here. Got him with a quick zooming in. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, fuck. Goodness me. It was a regular old birthday party over there. Wow, they really take a lot of bullets. They just eat these bullets for breakfast, lunch, and dick. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I'm out of ammo for everything. Get the sword, baby. Be careful, droids. There's a maniac with a sword on the loose. Oh, that's right. He's in front of you. Popping you in the nose. I really like how the environment loads as I move towards it. It's like I'm creating the world. I wish I could create a better looking world. Yes, give me your scraping him. These zombies are dressed in like bowling attire. Makes me feel like I'm slaying professional bowlers that were down on their luck. Which is a real shame, I like bowling a lot actually. Not to toot my own titties, but I actually bowled a 232 one time. Oh, you know, I'm just sitting here flexing. This is just so much fun. I'm really having a good time with this game right now. Oh man. I am Batosai the Manslayer. You know, in all honesty though, I do actually like the zombies death animation. They just throw their arms above their head like they're signaling a successful field goal on their way down. Why am I not picking up this ammo? Okay, I I'm setting my sack on this ammo. Why am I- do I need to pick it up with a button or something? Oh, there we go, of course, yes. E. Do I have to pick this up with- oh, alright, I'm at full health, somehow. I am your leader. Yes, I realize all three of you would like to give me a hug, but instead, how about I put my anus right in your face, come here, gentlemen. Oh yeah. Let's get really weird. Stick your tongue out. Make my rectum your chocolate ice cream cone. Oh yes. Mmm, do you like that? Tell me how much you love that, you naughty, dirty man. 
I'm gonna stand on your shoulder like a pirate's parrot. Come here, I'm gonna put my asshole- Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Where the fuck did this fourth one come from? Trying to crash our party. How rude. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Give each other a back massage. That's what I like to see. That is good work right there, gentlemen. This is getting real sensual real quick. Alright, I cannot... I can't get off this man's head now. Alright, they're like holding me up now. What the fuck? Alright, at least toss me in the air like a cheerleader. Oh, wow. Well, this is fucking perfect. What, is, what type of ritualistic shit is this? I thought we were friends. Damn it, you made me do it. Hold on to your hats, sailors. I'm about to drop the bomb of truth on you all. This game is not that much fun, actually. As hard as that may be to believe, it's, it's just I've played better games. And I don't think it's that much fun to just watch, because I'm just slicing and dicing Ninja Turtle alien troopers here and zombie pedestrians. So I'm going to tell a story. I'll go ahead and... T oh, wow, what the fuck? These zombies are eating me like an ear of corn. I'll go ahead and tell another story where I fucked up with a woman. I have so many of those. I wish I could animate those so I could animate the story to really help give a visual. But anyway, it was my freshman year of college, I think. I'm pretty sure it was. And I went to a club, because that's what a lot of freshmen did. They, they would go to clubs. And I wasn't a big fan of clubs, but you know, I put on the facade that I loved clubs. I would, I would flail my arms around like a buffoon, maybe get a little hip gyration in there, and generally look like I was having a good time. I mean, if you saw me at the club, you'd be like, wow, this man really likes his clubs. But I didn't. At all. But I still went. And this one time in particular, I decided to wear these, like, light-up glasses that looked like something a, a pop singer during the 70s would wear in a music video. And I was dancing around in them, and you know, was doing my thing. Getting a little footwork action in there, and by that I mean I was doing the hokey pokey on the dance floor. And I saw a girl, she was really pretty, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna buckle down, I'm gonna go up, and I'm gonna talk to her. So I did everything right, I went up to her. And then I didn't say a word, I just went up to her and I fucking stared at her. She didn't see me at first, she had to turn around and then she looked at me. And then she's just looking back at me and I wasn't saying a word. She probably thought I was lagging. Or, I just frozen. And, you know, she must have liked something about my approach because then she started trying to talk to me. And I just didn't answer any of her questions, I didn't say a word to her. She was like, what's your name? Didn't answer. And then she pointed out my glasses, which were now around my neck because they weighed damn near 40 pounds and my nose and eye muscles weren't up to that challenge. So I put them on my neck, she pointed them out, she said, hey, I really like that necklace. Without saying a word, I just picked up the glasses off my neck and put them on my, my eyes. And then I just continued to look right at her. It was, it was like I was trying to predict the future, I was reading a crystal ball. And then she said, oh, they're glasses, well that's even cooler. Had, what the fuck just happened here? Oh, awesome, that, yeah, that's that shit I do like crashed. Awesome, yeah, that's about the most fun I've had in the last 10 minutes. I'm glad the game at least waited to crash until I was down to the last five enemies or however many I had left. But anyway, I'm still gonna finish the story. So I'm just looking at her like a tacky time traveler with these light up blinking glasses. And I was just doing what any sane man would do. I was staring directly into the eyes of a stranger without saying a word. And she was starting to get a little uncomfortable with this, like a little bothered, but she still wanted to try and salvage this really odd interaction with, with me. So, she, she said, do you like what my shirt says? And naturally, I just didn't look at the shirt, I kept looking at her, just right into her eyes. And then she noticed this and was, and was a little, little put off by it, but then she lifted her shirt up, like all the way up, like above her head almost, she nearly took it off so that way I could see it, because I was taller than her. So that way I could see nothing but the shirt, she put it in front of her face, and then I just stared blankly at the shirt without actually reading it. And after a couple of seconds she said, so what do you think of the shirt? And I just nodded. And then she stormed off because that's, that was the straw that broke the camel's back. And my friend happened to see most of it, and he came over and he said, well, what, what the fuck was that about? You didn't say a thing to that girl. And then I turned around and I just looked at him without saying anything too, and I really, I really don't know why. I don't know why I didn't say anything to her, I don't know why I didn't say anything to him. I don't know what the fuck was going on there, I was completely sober, and my brain was just processing some really complex algorithms or something, I don't know, but it was, it was a really embarrassing time, and then I continued to just dance around like an absolute loser, and then I threw those glasses right in the garbage. I should have set them on fire, but I just got rid of them because that, that was very embarrassing. So, yeah, that's, that was that story. The game crashed, like, over a minute ago, probably like two or three minutes ago, but I really wanted to finish that story. Alright, well that's the end of this video. Remember to rate the video, comment the video, and subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this one. See ya.